that the Lord Jesus Christ can For be more than 40 years, Billy Graham has faithfully preached the gospel in churches and stadiums, on radio and television in countries around the world. He pioneered mass evangelism in almost every country of the former Soviet bloc. And he's been honored worldwide for his work as a humanitarian, peacemaker, and evangelist. Global Mission with Billy Graham is the most extensive outreach of his ministry. While Mr. Graham will preach from a pulpit in San Juan, his words of hope and his message of the good news of salvation through faith in Jesus Christ will be interpreted into more than 80 languages and carried to every corner of the earth. Contrary to what people think, the world still has a prayer. Yours. Please pray. God will reach the lost. And Mission Ontario is coming up with Billy Graham, June 7 to 11, 1995, in Toronto at the Sky Dome. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, will you welcome a, a wonderful friend of ours, a man who's been known through these many decades, uh, and you don't think of Billy Graham really without thinking of... Cliff Barrows. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, Cliff. Thank you, David. Thank you, Cliff, for Good coming. Good to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Cliff, this thing that's happening out of San Juan, Puerto Rico, that's reaching in 80 languages, going all over the world by satellite, uh, why San Juan? It's incredible. Well, San, we needed a place, David, where we had an interpreter that could take line by line Mr. Graham's message because in the auditorium adjacent to the stadium, we have 45 booths with interpreters, two in each one, that will be interpreting that message line by line while it's in Spanish. It'll be going up to the satellite, translated on 80, well, 30 satellites in all, all total to 180 countries of the world. And now the number has gone up to 100 different languages. And uh, we'll have people all over the world listening right from San Juan. Another thing, of course, it's a U.S. possession, and we don't have problems with getting technical equipment and things into there, and we have a crusade going on in San Juan at the same time. What was the first meeting you ever did with Billy Graham? Ah, well, the first meeting was in 1940... I mean, a public oh, meeting. The, the uh, pub well, in England. Uh -huh. 1945, my Billy and I, with Billy Graham, went to England and Billy for six months. Billy is your months. wife. Billy is my wife. I've always said my Billy so they'd know which Billy was ta we were talking about. But uh, I gave her two names, a hyphenated name. We went back to 1945. We met on our honeymoon, and then he asked us if we would go to England with him. He was 26 and I was 22. And uh, I, I, we did and had the marvelous experience. We were there for six months. In fact, you have a man in the audience today who was from Hull, England. I don't know where you are, sir. Wave your hand. There he was. And we asked him to come up yeah. on the platform in 1945, Wave. and he sang Heavenly Sunlight. Oh. He just came. Sid, I think, is his first name. I said. God bless you. So uh, did you, in your faintest imagination, ever think that the time would come uh -huh. When Billy would be 76 and you're 72, no. and, now, and now in 100 languages in 180 countries, you, by satellite, I mean, you, no. you nobody know, had ever thought of satellites you, in that day. No, but the Lord, you know, there, David said in Psalm 67, he said, Lord, uh, in mercy bless us. Let your face beam with joy as you look down upon us. Send us around the world with news of your saving power and eternal plan for all mankind. We have over... 500,000 counselors who've been trained in these countries in 2,400 yes. locations. Yes. Yeah. And the material is being printed, and we have, you know, we have more people that are listening. We are covering by the satellites 4.6 billion people. Now, that won't mean they'll be listening, but if 25% yeah. of them listen, that's 1 billion. Well, Norma Jean, you're over there somewhere. Keep that check coming. You know, Norma yeah. Jean, as faithful as clockwork, every month, in goes this check uh, to the Billy Graham Association. Bless her heart. Thank you, Norma <laughs> Keep Jean. it coming. It's a good investment. Well, Besides, you know, the scripture says that those who support a prophet, this is a liberal translation, but those who support a prophet get a prophet's reward. So we just want to get in with you and yeah. Billy, uh -huh. and, and Billy and Billy. Now, well, now, uh, Toronto, talk about yes. Mission well, Ontario I tell you, I in saw the Sky Dome. The, I saw the Sky Dome yesterday for the first time. 
Oh, it's marvelous. What a it's an awesome building. And we are excited because we are attempting, by the grace of God and, and the use of new technical f equipment that they have there, the big screen, mm -hmm. new media, and some outstanding artists that you have here in Canada are going to be with us. We're going to have a new type of program at the Sky Dome that's going to really fit. And in fact, you'll get a little taste of it. Uh, yeah. how, how old is George Beverly Shea? He was 86 this month. Now, George Beverly Shea uh, is going contemporary. <laughs> now, now, don't don't you don't you get any ideas? George is still totally in command of his faculties, and, and believe me, George lived here in Canada. In fact, <laughs> George attended the same college in Ottawa that my dad attended. Yes. And, and, and let's have a little look. Uh, I mean, he is with Michael Tate of DC Talk, but there's a powerful message, and then I want to talk to you about, okay. about your own personal... Uh, and community. because he lives, I can face tomorrow, because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds a future and life is worth a living just because he lives. Well, now. <laughs> The sound, I, I, now, jo really, uh, the, the, actually, he went George's way on that song, but the look was contemporary. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Cliff, you have just lost your precious wife of how many years? It'll be 50 in June. We took our year of engagement and added it to 49 and celebrated our 50th anniversary last June because we knew she probably wouldn't be here. Uh. She passed away. December 8th, after a battle with cancer that was uh, a struggle. She didn't have one of these, you know, we thought, well, maybe she'll see the Lord and she'll have a smile on her face and she'll be caught up to heaven. It wasn't that way. She was in a coma for uh, two and a half weeks. The brain the, the, had probably been affected with the cancer. It was, it was it metastasized in her liver. They drained so much fluid off of her. But until that coma, she was a radiant, positive, joyful, joyful uh, believer. And we shared together over the four years. It was in a process of going down. We, we, we did all the things that we felt we should do. We had special prayer for her. Uh, she was anointed. And yet, you know, God has his plan and purpose in our lives, and we, we had peace about it. But many nights we went to sleep in each other's arms. But the comfort of the scriptures, the comfort of the hymns, we sang hymns together. I, I have a harmonica, and I play her to sleep with the hymns. And on December 8th, she finally slipped out of that coma in our bedroom where she, we had her at home and went to be with the Lord. You touched your pocket. You don't happen to have. Do you have that harmonica with you? It's in my briefcase. Oh. But uh, in fact, oh, uh, I, I Ken, just... go get my briefcase because yeah. I'd like to play that favorite oh, I, uh, her But hymn. in the meantime, I want to yeah. talk about yeah. while well, he's getting that harmonica. I didn't know that, and I saw you touch your pocket, or I, I wouldn't thought have I had it. it. Yeah, I, I had yeah. it in a briefcase, yeah. But, but Cliff, how are you doing? Cliff, tell me how you're doing. I'm doing, by the grace of God, wonderfully in my soul and spirit. You know, um, we were so close. She played the piano and traveled with us for five years, and then the children came along, and she, she was committed to um, raising those children, and she raised them much alone. But the, she never once resented my being away because her heart was in the work. We prayed together about it, and she shared the burden of the work, and she shared it with the children. And God has blessed us with five children and 15 grandchildren, one born since she passed away. And my oldest child, Bonnie, will be here for the women's rally in April. Uh, God has been so precious to us. I. I, uh, I can't begin to tell you how people have ministered 
to us and to me. I got a valentine from her on Monday of this week. My Billy. Last November, she purchased it before she purchased she purchased and gave it to my daughter and said when Valentine comes, send this to Daddy, wherever he is, and uh, I want him to have it. And <laughs> I walked into the, into the hotel in Sacramento this week, and uh, I was feeling her absence. I, I carry a portrait with me, and uh, I, I looked, and there was, the, where, there was the letter. I opened it up, and here it was. My daughter had written it because she couldn't write, but she said, Mama bought this and wanted you to have it and want you to know that... She loves you. I, I looked up in the heavens. I said, well, dear Lord, you put your arms around her and you tell her how much I love her. God gave us a relationship in our lives together that um, was blessed, and I just thank him. And I believe our children know. I think one of the most important things, David, is that um, parents keep in mind how important they are to each other and the love that only Christ can give them. It'll be manifested and their children will know that they love each other. And, and uh, my Billy loved me and I loved her. Uh, but I rejoice. You know, I, I, she wouldn't come back now. I've been studying what the Bible has to say about departed loved ones. We know that their soul is separate from the body. Their soul, who is it eternal, is with Christ. We know that they're in a glorified body. If you look at Luke 16 and the rich man and Lazarus, mm -hmm. the rich man remembered his brothers in the earth. He could see Lazarus. He could see Lazarus had hands. He said, take your finger and dip water and put it on my tongue. He could remember. I believe our loved ones who have gone on can remember. We know they're worshiping and praising Christ. I, I really do. I, I and I. I've, the mouth organ has arrived uh, there. The harmonica there, and I. Yeah, I get it. I'll turn and, the other now, way around. Now this you know, is what you would sing and play uh, to your wife every, as, as she was. Yes, the hymns have ministered to us, and uh, here's one: He leadeth me, O blessed thought, O words with heavenly comfort fraught. Whate'er I am, where'er I be, still 'tis God's hand that leadeth me. And when my task on earth is done, when by His grace the victory's won, in death's cold wave I will not flee, for Thou through Jordan leadeth me. I'll, I'll just play a oh, verse of mine. Thank you. Oh, I'd love it. Thank you, Cliff. You've ministered to us mightily, powerfully. We want to minister to others as well with, with a video dealing with loss. Uh, I'd like to give you one oh, of these, Cliff, and thank if you. you're feeling lost sometime and you've got <laughs> time, put it in the VCR. And, I will. And, and these eminent uh, oh. doctors will minister to your, to your health. Can I your just life. say one verse? Yeah. The Zephaniah 317, the Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will quiet you with His love. He will take great delight in you, and He will joy over you with singing. That's ministered to me. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you.